Hi folks and welcome back to Old School Customs. Today we're going to try to get to the other side of that little ravine where the rocks were around the edge of the ridge. We're going to go on the other side of that ravine to see if there's the rocks are the same because the dude told me there was a bunch of mounds and I didn't see a bunch I've seen the like flat rock piles but uh, I think there's more of this so let's see what we can find all right so here the first time we came we parked by this bit what this building and we came down and walked all the way up and over here we looked down at the river and then we came back up and went in the woods right here and this is where all those rocks were on the ridge then the second video we were on the bottom of this we went around this hill on the bottom and came up and there's a valley right here and we came up in that valley so now this is the third video on this we're going to go up and try to get into these woods right here and see if there's the same rocks that are in this set of woods. So that's the plan. On the last video we were down at the bottom here and we walked down to where these rocks are way over here. Then we went up in that we found that road that goes around the back side of this knoll and it takes you to this valley over here. So that's what we're going to try to get to right now. What a nice view this is. So where I'm at right here now, I'm just coming up to this valley right here. And on this side of the valley, on this whole ridge all the way around, was piles of rocks. Here's the sheer cliff that went down. So I'm going to try to get over onto this sheer cliff on the top and see if there's any of the same thing. But it's kind of, this is crazy that, that this was, this valley continued right here and this used to be a golf course and they filled all this in because the valley continues over there. They must have put a culvert pipe underneath all this. So this is another spot I need to go check like the side of this up around that rim this side so there might be a couple more parts to this but this is the valley and it goes down it's way down and it's uh i'm going to try to start from the flat and hack my way in and get over to this edge so let's see what we can find all right i just made it into the woods here and uh, I already see some orange paint on the trees. I'm out of breath, I just walked up a hill. So, let me try to get into here. Make heads and tails of it. And we'll be back at you. There's another uh, illegal tree stand. Interesting. Well, here's a modern illegal tree stand. Well, here's a decent sized mound. It probably stands 16 inches off of uh, where I'm standing. Probably 8 feet by 8 feet rocks covering hmm. all right so I'm working my way actually down here a little bit more green and I'm in there but I'm starting to see some heavy heavy rocks 
the bases of these trees. Like there's like cuts in this rock right here and there's like a little cache of rocks right here all right let me get past these last bit of prickers here and I'll be in the woods all right I seem to be in the woods some mammoth trees mammoth trees bird effigy that they always uh, talk about. See the beak? Man, look at the size of this fucking tree. Here's a piece of flint. <coughs> it's not much flint around here. Another one of those kind of rounded pieces like I found a couple videos ago. There's another piece of hard stone right here. Acorn. Alright, let's get in here. There's a uh, rocks lots of rocks here mosquitoes so at the base of this tree there's like some kind of a bone see that interesting this is a cool rock. Looks like it was uh, some kind of a club chiseled out. Alright, I made it to the edge and there is a lot of rocks here but it's different. They're not so congregated. Actually that's the edge down there but like it's two tiers. One, I'm on one where I came from that was the green some kind of a mound I might be standing on some kind of a mound right here oh man that rock's in there yeah so <coughs> right on the edge here now, looking straight down. This is not walkable. That's that other ridge I was on, so it goes down and then back up, and I was on the other side of that. So let's explore this this ridge right here and see if we could come up with anything good. There is rocks around the bases of all the trees, but not so many. The other side, that whole entire ridge was uh, just rocks everywhere. And some trees don't have it, where over there it seemed like every tree had a rock pile around it. stripes in it. Alright, I'll be back. This tree is huge. That thing's been there a long time. It's pretty 
pretty steep and muddy here. Not sure if we should go down this or not. Yeah, I'm not going down there. I got skater shoes on. I can't get no traction. I could barely just slid and almost getting back up. So here's the cache of rocks again. This tree isn't that old. Look at this rock right here. Something cut out of it. Hmm. This thing right here is a mammoth. This is a flipping mammoth. It's a big tree. Alright, so wish there was some more decisive uh, proof or artifacts or something. Find an arrowhead or a spearhead that something. There's kind of a mound right here. With all this moss on the top of it. A divot in the ground right here. Clearly goes up from where I'm standing while I'm in the divot. So, I don't know, I bet this is a foot above grade, scattered rocks, moss. Oh, let's see what's this here. Some kind of like squared off little rock. Alright, I'm back out of there without some work boots and uh, a bottle of water. I'm not going down that hill. I can't get up. I went down like 20 feet and I was like slipping on the way back up. Something's going on here. There's yellow orange paint on everything. Like they're trying to kill an evasive species or something. Makes sense. That's where I went in right here. I came out a different place. Alright, let me put this machete away before I run into a park ranger or something. So I guess this wasn't a complete failed mission. Um, I found some cool artifacts I'll show you here when I get back near my car. And uh, making a plan for what's next, what I need. Um, this is the woods I want to get into right here because that's the other side of that uh, it's the other side of the original valley and if there's rocks in that like there is on that I'm on to something right there would be along the edge of this ridge going back into this valley so I made it over to this little section that I was just showing you and uh, the other side of where the old golf course interrupted the valley. Let's see what we see over here. We see some kind of a mound right here or something.
right here I'm on like a, a mound right here this is clearly built up hear a lot of water running down there around this tree here for a little bit if I see anything cool it's kind of a cool rock it's smooth this side not so much this side super smooth right at the base of this big tree This thing. Interesting. I'm still gonna poke around here for a few minutes. Looks like an old bottle dump right here. Just found three bottles. I see a couple more right there. But it's right on the edge of this cliff and I don't really feel like falling. I'm gonna get out of here for right now. Not looking for bottles. Interesting. Wish I knew about bottles. This looks like a nice open spot where I could uh, come take a gander. I kicked up some deer there down at the bottom at that creek. One was huge. I think it was a buck. He ran this way down at the bottom. Maybe we'll get, us, get to see him. There we are. This is that same ridge line. Not so many rocks, but there is rocks all at the edge of this. Ceramic caps. Part of one. There's potting. I found one of these years ago in Marietta, Ohio. I guess they got it somewhere. What's this say? This is Mason. Genuine porcelain lined mason. Genuine porcelain lined mason. School. Seems like everywhere I go in these woods, I see some other place that's inaccessible that I want to be. Here's a nice cache of rocks right here. It's not as much as that other, but still quite a few. Here's some big ones. And sand. I love how this tree's growing around it. This has been here for a Oh, this is concrete. I see steel hanging out of it. Wow. Old dump. Like things like this, I'd like to come back and investigate, like, underneath there where this tree is growing and it got under eroded. And uh, I'd like to go investigate that, stuff like that. All right, here's some of the things I brought back. This looks like it could have been some kind of a, a little something. It's got that same groove. It's 
cut the same groove. This I just like the stripes. I might clean that and stick it in my fish tank. This is some other kind of hard rock. It's um oh this is really heavy. One of those net rocks. This has that same groove. Like it was some kind of a chisel. This just looked like a conglomerate of some sort. I like the way it looked. This little tip. Oh, I just heard something behind me. Scared the shit out of me. This is that piece of quartz that, or uh, flint, I mean, out of place. Two kind of flat, squared off rocks here and here. Another one of those uh, this was cool, it was gray with red. I don't know why but oh this was shining in the light. Like some kind of uh, quartz in there or something. Well, I carried that back and just some little things. Oh this was that that looked like a bear tooth and then there was another one kind of a rounded rock underneath a tree all right folks until next time thank you for watching old school customs leave me a comment tell me what you think Subscribe, it helps the channel grow. And have a good day.